So I'm here with a gold nugget and an elytra with a modified texture. I'm going to put the gold nugget into this anvil and rename it to gold coin. And now we have a coin. You can see that it's still a gold nugget, but it's texture changed when I changed the name. I'll also put this elytra in the anvil. Now that I've renamed it, you can see that the texture has changed. I can even have it changed to a third variant. You can see it even keeps the texture when I wear it. Optifine has a feature for resource packs called SIT. It's similar to vanilla custom model data, but it allows for armor textures and models to be swapped, and allows for more requirements like stack size, name, or enchantment. I'll start with an example, then show you how to make one yourself. Here I have a resource pack. I'm going to navigate here and create a folder called Optifine. In that folder, I'll create another called SIT. Now we're going to open a text editor like Notepad or Text Edit. Make sure it's plain text. We'll need to start by defining what we want to modify. In this example, I'll do item. Next, we'll write which item we want to change. Let's use a gold nugget. Make sure you use the file name. For example, book and quill would be writable underscore book. Then we need to point to a replacement texture. I have an image here called gold coin. I'll drop it into the sit folder. Here. Now we need to write the name of it here. Once we've done that, we can choose a requirement. I'll use nbt.display.name. So the texture changes when the name is changed. That's all we need. I'll save this as goldcoin.properties and put it in the sit folder. Now I'm in game, and when I rename a gold nugget to gold coin, its texture changes. Now I'll go over everything you need to make your own. I also recommend you see the official documentation. It'll be linked below. Back in the text editor, we don't have to use an item. We have four choices. Item, enchantment, armor, and elytra. We already looked at item. Enchantment replaces the normal enchantment glint texture. Armor changes armor textures. And elytra changes the texture of elytra. You'll then need to specify which item you want to change. Now, you can either change the texture or model. You can leave this part empty if the name of the file is the same as your texture or model. Now, we choose the requirement that has to be met in order to change the texture and model. Damage changes the texture and model if the item's durability reaches a certain value or range. While this is possible in vanilla, SIT allows for armor and elytra. Stack size changes the texture and model if the item is in a stack of a certain size. Enchantments changes the texture and model based on the enchantments it has. Hand changes the texture and model based on the hand it is in. NBT changes the texture and model if the item has a specified NBT value. This one's a bit more complicated, so I recommend you see the official documentation. Your properties file can have any name and can be put in any subfolder inside the SIT folder. If your texture isn't showing up in game, make sure custom items is turned on in your details settings. Make sure your resource pack isn't getting overridden by another. Make sure your item meets all the requirements you set. Make sure you have the correct file structure. If you have any questions, feel free to ask, and again, I do recommend reading the documentation.